Uh, and in 98 is a funny story. Um, actually, uh, Shortcut won that year. And I came in like a, you know, or as a runner up. So, you know, I didn't even think I won until, you know, back then I was working at the mall. And then I got a call from Christy the day after DMC, you know, letting me, in, inviting me to the U.S. finals because, you know, I guess I made a, I made some kind of noise or whatever during that battle and they wanted to invite me in into the DMC competition, which I was really honored to be a part of because that competition was with some of the greatest of my peers and it was an honor for me just to be a part of it. Uh, preparing, well, preparing for 98 as well as any other battle, as cliche as it sounds, uh, would be practice. You know, practice, there's no other way to get around it. You'd have to get in your studio, get in your room, whatever you do, and just practice. Listen to songs, come up with the most original material that you could, become clean, get your technique right. And, you know, when it comes to battle time, hopefully the preparation was enough and, you know, you kind of just do what you do. So, you know, there's no way around it. There's no quick way to do it. You just have to practice. All right. Um, I first heard about the DMC when I first, pretty much when I first started DJing, because um, back then I would go to the DJ shops so every weekend, you know, with my dad when I was a kid, and they would be showing the DMC competition on, on the TV. So, you know, I would just be sitting there literally for hours just kind of watching these sets and how do they do that? And, you know, it became like kind of imprinted in my head. These sets are the ones I would sing over and over. And, you know, I would see Q's set. I would see Steve D's set, uh, the Rocksteady Crew set, which is an unbelievable um, DJ set. Uh, Cash Money, Rob Swift, you know. And then um, Shortcut, I would, see, I would see these guys, you know, compete and it would kind of it kind of paved the way the way I would think like then became the forefront of my whole DJ thing was turntable tricks and I had to try to be the best DJ that I could be.